I had a way then Losing it all on my own I had a heart then but Hey guys, Husky Flies back here with another X380 video. It's been a long time since the last one, probably a week and a half. Uh, to tell you the truth, I've been doing some other things, and I'm kind of the type of person where when I get a subject I want to work on or whatever, I really attack it, you know, and uh, don't do much else. But I'm back, and I I wanted to get another video up. <clears throat> I know I had posted a video of the X380 after I'd had it for a week. And I figured this is the perfect time to post a one month video in. I think I've had it <clears throat> just over a month, uh, 32, 33 days, something like that. So we're, we're right there. So as you can see, I have my X380 with the props off just because it's inside. Um, and I'm using the DJI 9450 props. I have a video comparing those to the stock ones that I'll put in the description. I'm also using the G2D gimbal and get to action camera and I have a video uh, reviewing those that I'll put in the description that kinda shows how they perform on the bottom of the X380 but as for the quadcopter itself I have to say it still is performing beautifully um, I have run into I can't say that it's been totally without issues and keep in mind I am pretty new to the quad hobby and I try not to beat the crap out of it, but I have done some stupid things that have caused some sort of shortfalls to the ground. Uh, like using the props to cut grass. I thought that was really funny until it crashed. There has really only been one single issue that I'd just like to talk to everybody about. Again, I can I only speak from my own experience. I don't know if this is a super common problem or not so common. But anyone who owns one of these is, is going to tell you right off the bat the documentation on this stuff is not that good. And that is because, you know, it's coming from China, so most of it's really hard to read if you're an English-only speaker. Uh, really hard to decipher. What I have been utilizing greatly for information is uh, Facebook groups, and i got to tell you, there's some great groups out there, especially with the X380 uh, in mind. There's the All XK Drones Owners Group, which is just kind of an all... Basically, if anyone owns an XK drone, you know, they talk about just general, general stuff in there. Um, there's one specifically for the 380, and I think it's just the XK Detect X380 Owners Group. Uh, you just got to get on Facebook and search, but if you search for the X380, you'll find them really quick. They're some of the most popular groups, and they have been a really, really valuable source of information. I, you know, a shout out in this video to everybody on there. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. It's really helped me out a lot. Uh, now, that being said, um, the one issue I have run into with the X380 is those who own one know that this is your status indication light and basically all your information feeds from this light. You really got to keep an eye on it. Um, you should be timing your flights, but uh, this will tell you when you have a low voltage warning. Uh, when it gets to the second low voltage warning, it'll try to just land itself wherever it happens to be. It'll tell you if it's got GPS lock. It'll tell you if it's calibrated, blah, blah, blah. It tells you pretty much everything. Now, the upside is that it's a very bright LED and very, even in daylight, it's very easy to see at a distance. So, um, they, you know, obviously chose a very high intensity LED for that for good reason because you're going to need to keep your eyes on it. But the issue I had a while back was I would go to do the compass calibration. Um, and normally when you do the compass calibration, you would pull the throttle all the way down and you would flick the headlock switch until the light turned green. Then you rotate it clockwise twice parallel to the ground. Uh, you would go through that same process on the transmitter again. The light would turn off. You would rotate it twice perpendicular to the ground, making sure that the light turned red when you turned it perpendicular. Uh, then you do that again, and it would give you a green light, which meant it was, you know, you did it correctly. It was all good. When I was doing the very first step of it, the, just trying to initiate the compass calibration, I would get a solid yellow light. And please, if there's anybody out there that knows about this, please uh, leave a comment below. I'm open to any and all theories. Right now, the only theory I've heard was from a Facebook group user who said that that means the quad is wants to calibrate on a different heading than it is currently on. So essentially, what his idea was, was to, if you got that, pick it up and slowly turn it 
just slowly once you hit that heading the light should turn green you put it back down and you continue with the process um, I didn't try that uh, what I did end up doing because I'd, I'd gotten to that post after I'd already tried this other thing but what I ended up doing was uh, if for all of you who own one of these I'm sure you know the YouTube user DJ Soulforce he has a very well done video on um, reflashing the firmware and the software on this to essentially return it to factory spec and that's what I did and that seems to have fixed it more than that and you know maybe I'm just crazy here but more than that I feel like it flies even more stable now so I don't know exactly how the software in this thing works I don't know if perhaps you know as it caches GPS locations and stuff maybe it holds on to them forever and over time that can make it slow to respond or what I don't really see any posts on that so it's kind of hard to believe uh, that everybody's x380 would just be growing sluggish over time and you know they just either didn't notice or didn't post about somebody I feel like somebody would have figured it out so that's probably a bad theory but I swear after I did this uh, flashing of everything it flew just like it had the first time I got out of the box it flew wonderfully stable um, so I'll put a link down below to the DJ Soul Forces video where he shows how to do it that and that's what fixed it for me again you could try the rotation thing and if I ever do get the light again I intend to try that and I'll definitely let you guys know what happened so yeah just kind of a short video here I just wanted to check in let everybody know that I'm not dead and I am making still making movies stay tuned to this channel once again this is husky flies and if you enjoyed I hope you hit that like and subscribe